Hey everyone, Mr. Stearns here. Oh my goodness, we're getting ready to finish up. Here we go. Now we're going to find out who did their work and who didn't do their work. Who's skating and who's not skating. Okay? So, you've read all of these sections all the way up through seven. We've done science. Okay? And you should have finished all your ISN. The ISN, why do you do that? What's the advantage? That's where the test questions come from. It's where the test questions come from. Your project comes from the summary. So your test questions are smaller, more detailed questions within your um, section. So if you go to government, you want to really focus in on your main ideas. Okay? Your main ideas are where you're going to find your test questions. Okay? And then you read around it to find the context. It's not enough just to know the main ideas. You have to understand the context of it. That's how authors make questions, looking at the main ideas in context. Then they write a question that goes around that. It's almost always the main ideas. Think about that. Okay, so we're moving on to the summary. This is what we should have learned. <clears throat> and if I was going to do a five-paragraph essay, I probably would use these as my uh, body paragraphs and add an introductory paragraph and a summary paragraph. A summary paragraph might be you answering the essential question. That would be a real easy way to do a, a summary paragraph. Okay, let's take a look at what the summary says we should have learned. Okay, and it's going to tie it all back in to the essential question, which leads us into our Prezi project or poster, preferably Prezi. Why? Because you can use that in the future, and most of you don't know how to do Prezi yet. Okay, teachers love Prezi, so I'm telling you. In this lesson, you read about the Golden Age in China during the Han Dynasty. During this period, the Chinese made many advances that improved their government and daily lives. See? All these are the improvements. The Chinese word Han is still used to describe Chinese culture. Partly, if you think about it, it's because it's the last dynasty, and most people even today would refer back to the last dynasty. So if you ask somebody, if you had to choose a dynasty that you connect to, what would it be? Most Chinese would say the Han Dynasty because it was the last. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's take a look specifically at what the, or what the authors are saying you better know about the essential question. Warfare and government. New weapons helped Han emperors succeed in war and expand their empire. They organized the government into bureaucracies. Civil servants who were chosen for their ability worked in the bureaucracy. It wasn't friends and family anymore. What were some of the improvements in agriculture and industry, guys, that should be on your posters? Several inventions improved productions in agriculture and in the silk and salt industries. Farmers used the chain pump for irrigation and the iron plows. Workers used foot-powered reeling machines to make silk thread, and they used iron-tipped bamboo drills to mine salt. Can you believe that? I am telling you, that is brilliant. Let's see what else they did to improve people's lives and the government. Let's take a look at art, medicine, and science. The invention of paper advanced the art of calligraphy and changed the way people communicated. Healers learned about the human body and developed techniques that are still used today. Chinese scientists made careful observations of the heavens and invented the seismograph and compass. Okay? So what do you have to do? I don't know. Pretty simple, guys. You're going to make a Prezi. This is an example of a Prezi. This was done by a student. Let me close this out at 7.30. There we go. This was done by a student, guys, um, from another class doing the exact same textbook, the exact same lesson. Notice how they have the essential question up here. And it looks like they even broke it down into something smaller. What is it that you should do on this poster? Notice how I like the way they did this. They have an essential question and then a, an objective. And it's the objective that leads into the poster. That's what we're doing too. So this is a Prezi and you can go to Prezi.com and figure it out. We'll talk about that in school too. But essentially you just have to have some kind of a background title have the essential question, I would use this. This is awesome, okay? And then you have to actually do it, okay? 
They're going to review the Han Dynasty and the chapter, talk about the Han Dynasty. Then they're going to talk about the different ways that they discussed that improved people's lives in the government. They're going to talk about warfare, government, agriculture, industry, art, medicine, and science. So let's do all oh, government since we've been now. Let's go. Let's go to industry. Okay. So do you see how when you click on it, it goes deeper? Okay. This is the. These are the main points from the book, and here's how they went deeper. Watch. They're going to talk specifically about the things in the book. And do you see how they used exactly the same pictures? Now I'm trying to see if you can go beyond that. Does that make sense? Okay, not just the pictures from the book, but can you do it in a different way that has different pictures, not just from the book? Of course, the ones from the book work, and you know they're right. Oh, let's take a look at art. Oh, again, same pictures. But do you notice, look, look, they use the picture to make their point. And then what did they do? This is new. This is new. Look, they added a movie. Oops. <laughs> Sterns, you're, 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 you're causing trouble, Sterns. Oh, no. Okay, so there we go. Wheel and well. Oh, neat. All right, well, where did they do that? Okay. All right. So I think it's art. Let's go to art and watch that movie. You see how they embedded a movie? Do you see how you can embed a movie? Think about that. Think about that, guys. How could that be an advantage for you? Couldn't you make your own movies and put them over here explaining these different things? Couldn't you go online and find amazing videos that connect to what you're trying to say? So if people don't understand your main point, they can go off to your videos that you found online and connected or you've actually made yourself and put in. I'm telling you, videos are a good way to show teachers that you understand stuff. Remember that. Okay. All of those things are the representation of what a Prezi is. You can do your project on a Prezi like this right here in front of you, or you can come and get a piece of paper if you prefer to do it in drawing form. Either way works. I see huge advantages of doing it technologically this time on a Prezi. So you only have two choices, a poster or a Prezi poster. Only two choices. So you're going to read the entire chapter, right? Read the entire chapter. Let's go back here and take a look at that. You're going to read the entire chapter. You're going to do all of the ISN, and you're going to think about how all of these things connect back to people's lives getting better and the government getting better. And then you're going to make a poster or a Prezi poster after you take your multiple choice test. Does that make sense? We're going to read all of this and do our ISN to do well on the test. And then we're going to refocus on the summary to get to our Prezi. Do you see how that's deeper learning? I hope you let me teach you this way, guys. Some of you are pushing me a little bit. Remember, the only thing left is legalism. I'm not sure that's where we want to go as a school. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.